Welcome to this session on Derwent Innovation. Today, we'll be looking at ASINI searching using the corporate tree. In this session, we'll cover what the corporate tree tool is, how to access it, and share some recommendations for ASINI searching. In other words, we'll take a look at what the best practices are to search for company names in patent records. So, what is the corporate tree? It was built to make it easier to search for patent records held by companies. Formally, the corporate tree is a tool that tracks the names that companies file patents under and brings all of these name variations together under one common search term. It's meant to be comprehensive, so it covers all firms that have filed 35 or more US or European or PCT patent documents or a total of 50 or more from those three jurisdictions combined within the last three years. Because it relies, in part, on data about corporate mergers and acquisitions, it focuses on jurisdictions where we can get good m and data. So it covers U.S. grants, PCT patent applications, sometimes called WO documents, and European patent applications and grants. This slide, while focused on consumer brands, gets at the idea of the corporate tree. The names that you and I might know related to a product or service can be different than their corporate parent. And because patent records can be filed under either the parent or any relevant subsidiary name, we need a way to handle those relationships. Put another way, large companies often file patents under lots of different names. Some of these name variations are those of companies they've purchased over time, which might have very different names than their owners today, and keeping track of all of these changes can be very difficult. For example, to see the full portfolio for Procter & Gamble, you would need to include Iams, Clairol, Vela, Gillette, and Braun to do a comprehensive search. The corporate tree saves you work because it's an easy-to-use lookup tool in Derwent Innovation that gives you the ability to find all the patents related to a given entity. To access the corporate tree function on Derwent Innovation, go to the patent search page. Then, look for the ASINI applicant field and click on the button. In that window, type any variation of a company name in the search box and then click Submit. Often, other companies' names appear in the list because they've either collaborated with that company of interest in the past or perhaps bought one of its subsidiaries. This tool will highlight the string of characters you enter wherever it might be. So here, every instance of Proctor is highlighted. If we had searched for Palm, we would have seen choices for both the Palm Computing Company and the Malaysian Palm Oil Board. So look down the list and click the boxes you want. To review all of the subsidiaries and name variations that we filed under a given bolded choice, click on the plus symbol to the left of the company. You can either select all the names in the list by clicking on the top checkbox or just select the ones you want. To choose individual name variations, you can click each of the checkboxes beside each of the listed company's options. This can be helpful if, for example, you might have seen a headline that indicates a division of a company could be sold off. Here, on this screen, we can see about 10 items down. So let's say we'd seen a rumor that Procter & Gamble would be selling off their assets, we might want to clear that checkbox. Once you've reviewed the list and made your selections, the next step is to save the chosen companies by clicking on the Save button. It's in the corner of the screen. The terms you have selected from the corporate tree search are brought over into the ASINI applicant search box within a set of quotation marks. Now these aren't just terms as you might type them. Under the hood, these are database codes and they make sure that Derwin Innovation will accurately include all of the potentially very large number of name variations. So be sure to use the browse tool to include these codes rather than trying to type them in yourself. They'll also appear in the preview edit query box. Since the corporate tree covers three main authorities, it's a good idea to consider taking the main names 
and including them in another ASCII field as well. For this second ASCII field, just type them in as search terms. Make sure the two ways of searching are ORed together, not ANDed together. As always, it's important to consider where you want to run a search, so that you tick the box to include DWPI fields, and that will ensure that you also can search the standardized and error-corrected ASCII names from the Derwin World Patent Index. This particular example raises two other interesting points. First, the name of the company in this example, Procter & Gamble, has a special character in its name. That's the ampersand. So, we need to place the whole name in quotes if we do enter it directly. Second, because we're linking the two ASCII search fields that have an OR, and then further restricting by a publication date range using an AND operator, we need to tell the search engine which things should be ORed and which things should be ANDed. So, to place the two ASCII search terms as alternatives to each other, and then have them both limited by the publication date requirement, we'll want to add parentheses in the Preview Edit Query box. I've highlighted these additional parentheses in green within the callout box. Let's take a closer look at that query string. Again, these parentheses we've added by hand. Whenever you have two ASCII fields and some other field, such as a date field, smart search, or classification field, you'll want to add this kind of grouping. This graph shows an example of what the results of that combined search can look like. It demonstrates the power of the corporate tree when used as part of a search strategy on Derwent Innovation. You can see all of these many name variations listed here in the combined portfolio. So, to recap, in this session, we've covered the definition of the corporate tree tool, how to access it, and discussed some of recommended best practices for ASCII searching. Should you have additional questions, please contact us by email. Also, I encourage you to check out the latest learning events, materials, and other recorded modules on the Derwent Innovation website. Thanks for listening. Enjoy using Derwent Innovation.